Okay, we're here at the Oddity Show, and we want to start this video off right here. Because we're making this video not only for our Scarefest channel, to show spooky things that happen in St. Louis, but for our Haunt World channel to talk about other haunted house owners. And look at all the cities that this show goes to. San Diego, Los Angeles, Louisville, Atlanta, Charlotte, Phoenix, Albuquerque, Houston, Dallas, St. Louis, Columbus, Indianapolis, Tulsa, Minneapolis, Toronto, Providence, Detroit, Chicago, Grand Rapids, Buffalo, Richmond, Philadelphia, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, Denver, Portland, Seattle, Sacramento, and Kansas City, Missouri. Now you'll notice one thing about all these dates as they all happen before Halloween, except for Kansas City, unfortunately, for Kansas City, their show happens after the Halloween season's over. And the reason why I point this out is because if you own a haunted house anywhere near any of those locations, you need to buy a booth at this oddity show. And um, the reason being is they're all two day events and they all attract about 15,000 people roughly. And I'm told in Kansas City or in uh, Cincinnati and Chicago they draw over 20,000 people. The, this show is a lot of fun if you like anything weird. If you like Halloween, if you like artwork. Look at all these scary purses over here. Look at that. Look at that dress. All oh, these really cool. Look at that shirt with the chainsaw. If you want to buy a booth to the show, I'm going to tell you something right now. You're going to hear it right here, straight from the owner's mouth. You have to register on Halloween, and that's the only day. If you've never signed up before, the registration to get on the list is on Halloween. That's the one and only day, so you've got to like set your clock for Halloween. All these weird things that are here. It's just so weird. It's like weird artwork. Look at these weapons made out of bones. Wow. And then you'll have all this uh, really gross stuff in jars, formaldehyde. Look at that dried up lizard. Wow. This stuff is really gross. Look at those photo ops. You know what I really like about the photo ops? I see they're smart about their photo ops because this area here is where the people would stand. And if you're six foot, six foot and a half, whatever, you're underneath the logo on the artwork. A lot of people make them and then the people stand in front of the, the artwork and it's no bueno. One of the very few Spanish words I know, no bueno. Anyway, if you own a haunted house, I would say you should definitely come here and promote your haunted house. Look at that. They've got like these Halloween scenes inside of these deer necks. Now this is something else. I have never seen anything like this before, ever. There's like rats living inside. Look at the little chandeliers. That is so weird. It's seven hundred and ninety-five dollars. That one's seven hundred and fifty. Look at that. And this one says sold. This stuff is so weird. 
foxes, a raccoon, and a possum. There you have it. Let's see. You'll see a lot of artwork. But if you own a haunted house and you're trying to recruit actors, ain't a lot of people who are into weird stuff like this go. They have up on stage, they have a freak show going on over there. And then you have all this kind of gothic Halloween type of uh, jewelry. This one, uh, turn away if you're offended. I've seen these people here before. Look, they got John Wayne Gacy's famous clown painting frame. There's Jesus, but it's Charles Manson's face. Now look at that. This is insane. Killer culture. Save the planet, kill yourself. Shoot your local pedophile. Hang your local... <laughs> <laughs> Only you can go F yourself. Okay. We've seen it all now. I've never seen anybody wear one of these shirts. Free your daughters from Taylor. I don't know what that says. But that is crazy. Totally crazy. Again, just more artwork, Oops, excuse me, more artwork, Halloween artwork. Just that one. It's very cool. And here is a little casket. Excuse me. Look at this. I guess it's a nun outfit, maybe? I have no idea. Look at the little kid's casket. The pretty cult. This is pretty cool, actually. Psychotherapy practices. Me. Now the uh, this show, and look at that. That is just disgusting. What in the heck is this? It says sheep eyeballs. Okay. Sheep eyeballs. Uh, and then of course you got a lot of taxidermy over there. Creepy dolls, um, alchemy, stuff over there. You look at this crazy artwork here. It's very cool. It's very nice. And over here we have some more creepy jewelry with like little mice hanging off the end. Okay. Here's some really creepy artwork here. More alchemy stuff. And here is stuff over here where it supposedly it has uranium in it, which is what makes it glow. See how it glows? It has uranium in it or something? Yeah, it's insane. Over here we have some really wild, creepy artwork. Very dark. Dark and scary artwork. Clothing. You got more artwork. If you're in any of these towns where this show's at, I mean, this is a 
a really cool thing to go around and check out. And then this guy's selling soap. And what do we got over here? More really creepy artwork. They all the stories on the back you can flip over and read. The stories are on the back. Look at this. In love, Doug Hobbs. Hopes. Look at that. Somebody's in love. Shadow Miss. Each one has a story. And over there they're doing a real uh, doing a uh, freak show. And what do we have here? Look at this. I can tell you that uh, I'm filming this video at around 3.20. Okay! I was told there's people here even that have Halloween masks. Uh, there's a Halloween mask, I guess. Pajamas. Look at this. Welcome to our lagoon. That's so funny. There's a lot of uh, Etsy. Right on. And I've never bought from Etsy, but um, I know what it is. Look at all this. You can get Prince, Scooby Doo, Halloween 3, Little Shop of Horrors, Creature Black Lagoon, Invasion from Mars, Frankenstein, Godzilla, Attack from. Uh, Killer Clowns, Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, Wolfman, or Teen Wolf. I guess that's Teen Wolf. That's Mothra. That's uh, the smog character from Godzilla. See, when people ask or think that I, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, I absolutely do. I just proved it. I love anything and everything horror, of course. I like sci-fi. There's some books on John Wayne Gacy. Cult and Cannibal Activity Book. All right. Now I've really seen everything. It's a coloring book too. Now, wow. That's insane to think that somebody actually would make a coloring book based on serial killers. It's so weird when we talk about serial killers, they're almost like cult icons. Their crimes are done, they're dead, they're gone, and now they're just Netflix reality shows. Look at this. Exorcist. Uh, El Machino, or what's the name of that movie? There's Wednesday. Oh, look, Robin Williams over there. It's very funny. House of a Thousand Corpses. Done all kinds of custom artwork. So anyway, if this is a great show to come to, look it up next year if you're from St. Louis, or visit one of the other shows. The show in St. Louis is a little bit smaller this year because the St. Louis Convention Center is being renovated. And uh, it is currently under complete renovation and it should be done by this time next year. They said they're moving back into the other hall. Look at all this artwork. I mean, I know all where they're coming, like, but people don't think I know. That's Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's that's Mr. Tim, Edgar Allan Poe. There's Jack Nicholson from The Shining. They're all right here. Rob Zombie, The Bride, and Frankenstein himself. And there's uh, Alfred Hitchcock, Beetlejuice. Horror Picture Show. There's more Rocky Horror Picture Show. 
There's David Bowie. I guess that's Stevie Nicks. Oh wait, the names are on the bottom. <laughs> Johnny Cash. I, I wasn't noticing that. There's Slash. Joe Exotic. Now I've seen everything. I have to admit that that TV show was rather entertaining. So anyway, what I was saying about Etsy is a lot of this stuff is the kind of stuff you would find on Etsy. It's like stuff that people are making in their home and selling. And they're turning artwork into it. I'm not sure what they're selling, but savory sweets. Atomic folk art. Hmm. So there's only two more aisles. And uh, the Audi show is absolutely awesome and it gets a lot of people. So if you have an Etsy store and you sell a cool, eclectic, weird stuff, this is a great show for you to come to. If you like to buy weird stuff, this is a great show to come to. And I've seen this guy a few times. Monster all his patches, stickers, and prints. Now this one over here is gonna be more, when I went to the show the first time, like 50% of the show was nothing but that kind of stuff. It has really transitioned. And look at this booth, I really like this one. Creep costume. Creep show, you got Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, got Lost Boys, Barrack One Wolf in London, My Bloody Valentine, Halloween, Deadly Night, si Silent Night, Deadly Night, you have It, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I guess that one over there is Evil Dead. Look at that. Very cool. Return of the Living Dead Jigsaw Puzzle. Nice. Again, a lot of Etsy type of stuff. You know, Etsy's probably one of the greatest things that ever happened to very creative people who have a hard time finding buyers for the kinds of things they make. And that's where Etsy just kind of kicked in and it became a store for everybody no matter what you're trying to find and that's what essentially this show is honestly fatal fungi felines yes nice i did not see the company selling the mask how could i have missed it there is a company here selling masks, I know that. I've seen it, but we did not see it on the video. And this is the last row over here. Strongly advise any haunted house owner, if you have a horror show, a sci-fi show, a comic book show, any of that kind of stuff rolling through your town, you should definitely get a booth. Promote your business. And we've actually been selling a lot of horror retail stuff. What do we got here? We got some artwork here. It's gonna be really interesting to see how tomorrow goes. Because they've never done this show before with two days. It's supposed to be the first time. Look at all the artwork here. Uh, would you like to sign up to be an actor or actress? Yes. Uh, what do I need to do? You fill this out, your name, address, email, Snapchat, phone number, and there's all the positions. You can be a scare actor, a makeup team, parking team, ticket booth, horror gift shop, game master, animation tech. And, and we'll you wants to be a that. ghost? you want to be a ghost? We'll yes. We'll it's not a thread. It's not a thread. Is there a boot camp on that? Yeah. I ain't doing boot camp, man. <laughs> what is it, boot school? And then here, here's our booth here. We brought this big thing. And let me tell you, people have been taking pictures with it the whole entire time. 
and here's Patty and Riley. Patty, have we been selling anything at this booth? Yes. She has been selling so many stickers. What are the best sellers here? Stickers. <laughs> stickers. The cheapest thing. Hey, you the almost thing. sold out already. They were stacked up this high. The second cheapest thing. And now they're down here. That's the first, that's the second cheapest. That's because people buy. I see you sold some uh, cards. I sold a few. And we've been getting a lot of applications and a lot of, and we actually sold a Chucky and an Annabelle and we sold a lot of toys. Uh, we did not sell this Pennywise. Um, we actually went back and got more. So that's the nice thing about the show being five minutes from your building. And there's some steampunk stuff. I'm gonna go try to find these masks. So anyway, in St. Louis, what we do is we recruit actors. We go to events and we try to recruit people who like horror like we do, that want to scare people. And we come to shows like this. Um, if they had a anime show to a uh, cosplay show, you should get a booth. But this show is perfectly in line with if you own or operate a haunted house, or if you like haunted houses, this is definitely something you should attend. And in St. Louis, on our Scarefest YouTube page, we've been documenting um, all the scary goings on in St. Louis. This show happens here in St. Louis every single year. And now it's two days long. I'm just trying to find the guy who sold the Halloween mask because I know I've seen it. And the Oddity Show has some of the coolest t-shirts that you have ever seen right over here. They're very, very cool. And they got a nice little setup right here. Oh, I found the Halloween mask. We'll go right over there and take, take a look. But look at their shirts. They do the most crazy cool artwork over there. But here, here we go. Like they strap on like if you were doing like a weird Conan the bar Conan the barbarian there's the Mothman the Mothman ah let me see your wings Mothman oh my god he's terrifying that's awesome if you were doing like a weird Conan movie uh, look at that mask. That is crazy. Look at that one. Wow. Check that out. That is sick. Look at that. You know what that is? It's like if you go to one of those balls and you put the mask in front of your face. It's very nice. Very nice. So we officially found the Halloween mask guy. And look at this one right here. $475, that is very nice. It's like a hard resin. It has foam inside, so you can wear it. Wow, that is really cool. Very cool. they have an Etsy page. Yes, they do. Here, let's look. Raven Dark Creations. And they have an Etsy page with the same name. Raven Dark Creations. Very cool. Now, I'm not sure if we saw this booth or not, but we'll come over here anyway. It looks like a bunch of odd and in Halloween stuff. I like that Wolfman back there. And they got VHS tapes. Look at that, that's very cool. 
$32. And they have these over here. And they've got these old masks. How much are these VHS days? Oh, they're all different. Like, uh, roughly. Eight, ten bucks, some fifteen. It's like some VHS mat or tapes are worth like thousands of dollars now. Yeah, I don't have any of those. What are the ones worth the most? Um, out of print stuff. Man, it's crazy. Um, sorry. So anyway, that's the whole oddity show, folks. So thanks for watching the video. Um, we do plan on, um, th there's a show we're going to called the CinemaCon and we're gonna film that and bring that to you. And then we're gonna make other videos and we're gonna try to go hit some haunted houses coming up very soon. So anyway, if you're in St. Louis, come visit the show and come say hi and see us. If you own a haunted house, what are you waiting for? Get a booth at this show and uh, get out there and talk to your customers. Introduce yourself to new people. It's a no-brainer. The Oddity Show is absolutely fantastic and you will absolutely love it. So, from the darkness, the limp haunted house, and Creepy World all coming back this fall, bigger and scarier than ever. We're signing off from the Oddity Show here in St. Louis. And we want to ask everybody, look at this armadillo, to follow us on Instagram because we post a lot of really crazy stuff on Instagram. We're at Scarefest. And we have an insane TikTok page with over 800,000 followers. Uh, it's Darkness Haunted House on TikTok. So there you have it, folks. Look at this. Holy cow. A saber-toothed tiger. Is that a cast of a real one? That's a real one? Oh, is it a hippo? Okay, that's a hippo. My God. That will kill you. 100%. That will absolutely kill you if they decide to bite into you. Oh, all right, folks. Until then, happy hauntings. From the Oddity Show, make sure you follow us on Instagram at Scarefest. And we look forward to seeing you very, very soon. And then hopefully we'll see you next year right here at the Oddity Show.